What is up, Banger TV? I am Connor, COO of Toronto record label, Fuzzed and Buzzed. You may have caught me on the Banger Twitch channel with my dude Blaine a couple weeks back. Banger tries its best to capture all the scenes, but they're slacking a little bit on the Stoner Doom psych scene. So that's why they brought me in to cover the top five thus far. This is the top five Stoner Doom Psych edition of 2022. <laughs> Let's get started. At number five, we have Wizard Master's Phasmatis on Interstellar Smoke Records. past couple years, I've noticed the Italian doom scene really coming on the up in front with this whole slow and hypnotic doom. This album is very Electric Wizard worship, and by that I mean Electric Wizard basically started their own genre, just like how Black Sabbath started their own genre. They're basically drinking from the same glass. So this record is very, very slow and hypnotic, with very crunchy bass, heavy riffs, cool movie samples. This is everything that I love in Stoner Doom. There are even a couple songs on here that I thought were Electric Wizard songs. That's how much this band loves Electric Wizard. From the artwork to the cool colored vinyl. Wait, make sure. <laughs> to the cool colored vinyl. This is everything that I was waiting for when it came to my door. When the needle hit the wax, I knew I was in for a treat, especially with the songs Wicked Eye and This Is Black Sabbath. At number four, we have one of the most iconic bands in the stoner scene, and that is Earthless in their brand new record, Night Parade of 100 Demons, on worldwide label, Nuclear Blast. <laughs> This thing is pure Eddie Hazel worship. I'll give you guys a quick moment to Google who Eddie Hazel is. Because Isaiah really captures Eddie throughout this entire record. These guys are legends and total pioneers of the instrumental Stoner Doom psych scene. But as of recently, they've been really incorporating lots of lyrics into their music, which is bringing it to a whole other level. This album is three songs and coming in at one hour long and really bringing it back to the early days of Lots of jamming, heavy riffs, crunchy bass, wicked bass, uh, <laughs> crunchy bass, wicked bass, everything bass. bass. <laughs> Crazy solos, very atmospheric, and back to the roots of no singing, just jamming. The last 10 minutes of this closer is everything for me. Pure funkadelic Eddie Hazel worship with hip shaking riffs, catchy drum beats, even catchier bass riffs that pull everything together. Bass rips? Did I say that? Or riffs? Rippin' riffs, there you go. <laughs> Night Parade of 100 Demons is another classic and iconic record by the legends Earthless. This is a great addition to this ever-evolving catalog. At number three, we have some real deal Sabbath worship. One of my all-time favorite debut releases of 2022 is Peth, Merchants of Death, on Italian record label Electric Valley Records. I have nothing but amazing things to say about this record. It's like if Black Sabbath stopped at volume four, jumped in a boogie van, threw some bell bottoms on, turned up the thick bass tones, followed by wicked guitar tones, and took this into the deep night of mind-bending fun. The second song on the B-side has a wicked cover of Run the Night by hard rock legends, Wicked Lady. Wicked Lady, Wicked Lady, Wicked Lady, I'm a Wicked Lady. All right, let's do this. If you're into that whole retro rock feel, this album is totally for you. Going on with that retro rock feel, the song Merchant of Death is a total ode to Black Sabbath's Tony Iommi, with very, very familiar riffing. 
with something this juicy right off the gate, I really can't wait to hear what these Texan rockers have up next. At number two, we have Stoner Rock Royalty with Woe Fats, the singularity on US record label Ripple Music. This album is the eighth studio album by these legends and it's coming in at one hour and 15 minutes long with only seven songs. This is a mammoth record and will be on everyone's end of year list. Every release sounds like they're breaking the scene and trying new things. From their latest release in 2016, this follow-up brings it back to the earlier Woe Fat days with albums The Gathering Dark, Psychedelonaut, Black Code. This album has longer songs, longer solos, more jamming, great hooks with a different flavor of Texas, all in this progressive rocking record. When I introduce people to the stoner rock and doom scene, eh, which I do quite often, Woe Fat are usually the number one band that I always suggest. They have a little bit of everything because of their crazy, crazy diverse catalog. With some songs like The Overworlder and The Witching Chamber, you can guarantee this will be on my end of year list. At number one, we have my absolutely favorite debut release of 2022, which is Friends of Hell on legendary Lee Dorian of Cathedral's record label, Rise Above Records. This album is a massive ode to the early 80s doom vibe, like Trouble, Witchfinder General, where the band actually got their name from. Cathedral, Paul Chain, St. Vitus, Pentagram. When you have members from Electric Wizard and Satan's Wrath and have been in the scene for over 20 years, you know that this will be a no brainer when it comes to underground heavy rock and this album will stand the test of time. Something special about this record is that the lyrics are extremely catchy. Once you throw the first song on, Out With The Wolves, you will feel like you've heard it before and instantly get the riffs and lyrics stuck in your head. The repetitiveness and the hypnotic feel of the first two songs gives me goosebumps every time. And just to metal this up for you banger TV regulars, here is a great quote from the drummer Taz. Yeah. These lyrics are influenced by 70s horror movie Satanism, death, and torture. That quote there is enough said for one of the best Doom releases of the year. From the artwork to the music, the cool colored vinyl. This release is everything for people who love old school Doom. Thank you for tuning in. Maybe that's like a bit too. <laughs> Hit up those comments below. Let's chat. No, I'll do that. I'm gonna do that again. Hit those comments. Let's figure out. Oh fuck. <laughs> let's chat it out. Maybe not. Let's chat it out. I don't. I don't like that. But let's chat it out. Gotta stop saying that. What do you guys think? Fucking comment. You know. <laughs> Hold on. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Top five. Fuck no. I'm gonna do that again. Thanks for tuning in. That was my top five. What do you guys think? You should hit up the comments below and give me some suggestions. If you wanna see more Stoner Doom Psych at Banger, let us know. There you go. Yeah? yeah. yeah? Okay. Yeah. Peace and love, my Banger people. Yeah.